Hello and welcome to my top 5 PowerPoint keyboard shortcuts list. I would like to make your workflow better, more efficient and faster. So I would like to share some of the most used keyboard shortcuts that I use while working in PowerPoint. Let's head on with number one. My number one shortcut is to pressing the Alt key on your keyboard. Once you are in PowerPoint and press the left Alt key, look what happens those letters appear, letters, numbers, and I can, for example, press K, like transition. Then I can press E, like duration. And then with my keyboard, I can change everything. This goes for nearly every option we have here. H for home, T1 for section. If you need to select two letters, these are T, then press one, and then it will be selected. Then I can press A and it will be added. What's even better, if you have shortcut like I do, like insert text box or insert shape. It's so simple to insert shapes. Alt 2, select shape, boom. Alt 1, insert text box. Alt 2, select another shape. And this makes your workflow better. Okay, once you know the left Alt key, I want to insert a shape. And my next shortcut tip will be to using, look at here. Using the shift key when drawing an object will make it perfectly equal. If I'm not holding the shift key, it can be irregular. But as I press my shift key, you can see it remains on constant proportions. What's even better, if you are holding shift key right now and additionally press control, it will grow outwards of the middle point. This is especially necessary if you work with some circles. Let me show you. For example, I have a circle like that here and I want the circle to be bigger, but I want it to be equally bigger on each side. So I press shift, I press the left control and look at that, it is growing. Since we are here, I'll show you together with that another shortcut. If you resize anything in PowerPoint, like I did here with my shift and control key to resize it like that, you see it is snapping to everything and I can't really make the size as I want. If I additionally to shift and to control press alt key again, look at that. It's not snapping to everything. And this comes very often in handy. Look at that. Now it snaps to everything. But if I drag it and press my left alt key, I can position it freely without snapping to anything. This is really very useful if you have plenty of objects in PowerPoint because you don't always want them to snap to everything. What's best that in shortcuts everything is so simple? Let's say that I have a design like that and I want more of those boxes. You can probably imagine there is a shortcut for that. Click on your left control on your keyboard. Look what happens. A mouse with a little plus button comes and I can very freely duplicate this if I hold my left control key. Now I will show you the last shortcut which I personally believe and people are very often asking me about it is to group objects. I can select multiple objects at once and I can press Ctrl G. This groups the object into one. So I could now press Ctrl, duplicate this, then again select everything, press Ctrl G, make it smaller. But you see how it's made smaller. Then I press my Shift key to make it equal and I press my left Ctrl key to make it smaller towards the middle. Since you see how big the text is, you would only have to make the text smaller and you've duplicated all the elements in a matter really of a few mouse clicks. There is so much more that I can show you, but this would be my personal top list for the quickest, fastest and most efficient work I do in PowerPoint. If I need to duplicate, if I need to resize, if I need to quickly add something with my shortcuts, everything is with your Shift, Control and Alt key accessible. So remember about those shortcuts and I hope they'll be a big help to your workflow. And if you want to enhance your workflow even deeper, even more, please take a look at my premium online course and you will find there a lot of useful tutorials, knowledge and overall PowerPoint abilities.